Hey guys, this is Lego Man 7777 doing a review on the 10134 uh, Ultimate Collectors Y Wing Attack Starfighter. Sad thing is though, seven or eight years ago, when I got this one, the Sand Crawler, and the ATST, kind of threw the boxes away. Ouch. But no, it doesn't matter. This, as I know the piece counts, so. This was uh, ages 14 plus and has 1,473 pieces. Alright, so we'll go on to the only minifigure. R4P something, I don't even care. Someone can correct me on that. Alright, um, I'm going to show you the statistics card. I'm not going to read it because it's pretty pointless. If you pause it and it focuses ever, be able to read it. And it's just not focusing. I'll read, uh, it's 16 meters long, carries two people, and a droid has a deflector shield, and can go into hyperdrive. And has a hyperdrive. <laughs> Alright, now on to the detail. You got your back engines, your, where the th thrust comes out. Uh, same piece like on the new ARC-170, but bigger. Because this was about the size of the engine, not this piece. Because the ARC-1 has the red pieces. Um, see, you got your secondary engine, well, the actual engine that produces the fire and stuff. It's pretty detailed. And on this side too, the tubing. Each of these are five tubes, each little segment I think. And the fun instruction booklet says you would build one of these long tubes and then it says times four and then you put this thing on and then it says times two for the other wing so you gotta do it like eight times and it's just a pain. Um. I'll show you the detail on the sides of the wings. This and it can open. It opens very smoothly, so you can actually put pieces in there. Don't know why you would, but you can. These, for some reason, move. Don't know why. They can just move. Pretty pointless. Same with the other side. I actually don't like some of them. Some of them aren't bent the way they should. And again, this thing opens easily. Pretty simple. And you got your uh, the back of the actual Starfighter. You got two engines and some detail. Nice giant slant pieces. You got some more detail actually on this side of the wing too. On both sides. Show you the top of the wings now. Just a lot of random pieces. I mean I could have built this too. Well, I designed it too if I had the time. Just because it's just a lot of random pieces. I don't know about this. Or this new piece, well, which was new back then. Alright, and then we have the segment that connects the body to the wing. Again, random pieces for detail. A lot of tubing. You don't have to cut any of these pieces. They all come pre-cut. Uh, and you got the same thing on the other side. A lot of use of these telephone pieces and these stupid antennas that no one likes. Then you get the actual body of the Starfighter. This is not a spinning wheel, but this one is. This is just a pa uh, painted piece, printed piece. Again, random detail. You got this right here, a printed piece for, uh, honestly, I don't know why it's printed. I could have just looked it gray and it would have looked fine. And for the effects. This is one of the first sets that used this piece they are used a lot in the Exoforce sets 
But this is like, I think it's the first Star Wars set to ever use them. It uses four, two and two, to reduce heat when it's flying. There, now, oh. and I guess I can show you where this guy goes. He goes in here like this. He doesn't sit sideways like in the Jedi Starfighters and stuff. He sits normal. Okay, now onto the head, which is my favorite part. You got your twin little laser gun, laser cannons right here. You got these that move up and down. Not 90 degrees up, but uh, it's like 75. And then can spin 360. And then open up your cockpit. It's not meant for an actual minifigure, but you can because it's a detailed chair. There's only one chair right there. And your controls. Three stickers for that. And then, you know, uh, you can't put someone in here, but it's meant for another person because he guns this part and he's just like. Ch -ch 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 um. Oh, I forgot to mention, I can't compare the UCS sets because there's just nothing to compare it to. Um, this was only $120 when it was out back in 2000. Let me show you the underside. Not really much underneath it. Just a lot of flat pieces. Um, and just to make sh just to show you, it's not like the Falcon and the Star Destroyer, it has to be on the stand. You can very easily pick it up. And there's your stand. Braces the weight well. But, yeah, you can use this for thing movies and stuff, if you wanted to. If you wanted to use the Ultimate Collector set, this would be the one to use. Otherwise, yeah, this is just an awesome set. It's well worth the money. Well, it was well worth the money when it was out. It was well, it's well worth $120. I mean, it's like, it's bigger than the gunship and the Venator. It's got more pieces in both of them. But, uh, yep, this is the Ultimate Collector's Y-Wing. Next, I think... I'm gonna do the ATST. I'm gonna do the Sandcrawler last because that's used to be my favorite set, but it's my least favorite to actually do anything with. And I'll explain that some other when I review it. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. And I highly recommend this. If you can find one for like $200, I suggest getting it.